Hello Wastelanders, welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon, and it looks like I have a damn infection. Now let me see if I can make any regular antibiotics here. I don't think I can. I'm probably going to have to use those, those advanced antibiotics, which really sucks. Um, yeah, cosmetic rank 1. Uh, okay, that's a bummer, but guess we'll do what we gotta do. Don't want to sit here with an infection all day. Not sure how that happened. That settler told me she was clean, man. Anyway, so, it's very early in the morning, and, um, oh, I guess I should show you a quick tour. Okay, before I get in the power armor, let me give you a quick tour of the new place I built here, because it is really cool in my opinion. So, of course, we've got all of our crops here, and those are coming along quite nicely, as you can see. So, we've gotten quite a lot of crops here. Uh, hopefully I want to fill out this row of corn and uh, that row of potatoes and uh, Yeah, and I should have two full sets of like I think this is 15 or so. Oh god. This is not straight It's going to bother me need to fix it Come on Give me the workshop Do it. There we go. Oh, why it was taking so long. Oh, I feel better. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be heading into. By the way, so this is the, this is the building. So it's really really cool in my opinion. Like it's, uh, I don't know. It's it's really. Wait a minute. How did I get? How did I get the wrong roof type here? This is the wrong type of roof. Okay, hold on. I gotta change that. That's strange. Did I get it? Is that that's a that's a roof from uh, the warehouse? Not sure how I got that on there. Okay, much better. So anyway, I've got this really cool building that I built up. I scrapped everything here. Um, used spring cleaning to scrap everything that was down below. Normally there's all this, all this crap down here that you, you can't uh, build on top of. Well, you can with the place anything mod, but... Anyway, um, I built this nice big building. Um, it's got plenty of room for my settlers for beds. Um, it's actually a double floor, and if you go up top here, more beds. And I put a kind of uh, guard post station out here, several guard post stations uh, that go around. So I used one of these uh, roof platform pieces that attaches to the roof here. And uh, then I put these kind of, um, you know, rickety uh, wire mesh pieces around the top. And of course, they're supported by pillars, which gives us a nice, um, you know, almost 360 view of the area around here and I may even connect this up to the thing up there I mean, you can do that I'm pretty sure come on open up yeah you definitely can connect to that um, that would be kinda cool or maybe like maybe over here you just have a connection going from here to over there there is a sort of power armor up there and um, well, you know we could just go ahead and check it out see what way it is. At least get the fusion core, right? You don't have to go over this way, though. You can get there by just going uh, over there. Anyway, let's go ahead and oh, grab that real quick. Didn't take fall damage. Just good. Uh, oh, did my crop spawn? My crop spawned. Well, hi yourself. I apologize if you hear uh, a loud humming sound in the background. Um, it appears that my landlords whatever company he hires to mow my grass I don't mow my own grass you know that's for that's for the plebs I'm just kidding I just I just don't mow it because it's part of my agreement with the contract anyway they're mowing outside so that's why you're gonna hear that so a lot of these are not assigned yet which means uh, I should probably lay off a bit on planning stuff here I'll probably do it elsewhere let me dump these uh, couple of fruits and stuff in here so I've got some goals for today. Um, goal number one is to get this power armor real quick that's up here. It's, it's on a crashed vertebrae. You can actually see it hanging off the side up there. And it's totally unguarded, as far as I know. Um, this is just south of Corvega, by the way. God, dog meat, you scared me. I thought, thought you were a vicious mongrel come to attack me and kill me. There should be a ammo case or... Yeah... Yeah. Isn't that sad that I know that? That there are ammo cases here? 
But yeah, I know that. I remember seeing these in Frost, and there was actually some good stuff in them. So yeah, we're gonna go over here. There's a lift. We're gonna take the lift. We're gonna go up. We're gonna get the power armor. Um, it's probably just gonna be T45 because we're still so low level. Whoa, Jesus Christ! Oh fuck, this is not good. Um, shit, 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 shit. Uh, what do I have on me? Oh fuck, you have no idea how scared I am of this. Um, oh god, this is so stupid. All right, I'm gonna try to like aggro him and see if he'll walk this way. This way, buddy. No, don't do that. Um, you, you want to walk over here is what you want to do. Where, where are my bottle cap mines at? Right here. Oh shit! Oh god! Am I poisoned? No, I'm not poisoned apparently. That is not good. Alright, uh, th this is no good, man. This is no good. I am not in my power armor. This was a bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea to walk over there without power armor. Running away, running away. I mean, I'm just in my fancy clothes, you know? Ain't no way in hell I can take on that guy. Oh, man, that was a stupid, stupid, stupid. Guys, never again. Yeah, go get him. Go get him, guys. Go get him. I'm gonna get my power armor. <laughs> yes, enter power armor. Go. Alright. Now we're good. Before I do that... Am I out of combat? Nope. But now? The music is over. Usually in MMOs, when the music stops being all frantic, then you're no longer in combat, but I guess that's not the case here. If he just would have walked towards me, I could have tossed grenades down, but no. Come back, guys. Still need your help. There he is, I see him. Alright, so, um... Oh, there he goes. Yes! Get him, boys! Yeah, get him, boys! Crap, I just get poisoned. No, I think I'm good. Good job, Mr. Handies. Good job, fellas. Oh, God, what a way to start your morning, man. I just woke up. That was scary as hell. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um... <laughs> I need a fresh pair of pants now. So, yeah, where the hell is this, uh... Where the hell is this thing at? I know it's around here. There it is, I see it. So we'll take this up, we'll check out that vertebrate, grab the fusion core. Because we always need more fusion cores. I realize my power armor is almost broken. The plan is to go into Cambridge, which is right over here, incidentally. I can actually hear them fighting at the Cambridge police station from here. The plan is to go over there, and we're going to help out the Minute, or not the Minute, the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Now, we're not going to be doing the Arcjet quest quite yet. Um, the reason being, I don't really think I have the firepower for it. Oh yeah, it's a full set of T-45. Pretty cool. What I'd like to do is uh, take this over and have it ready for when I get a companion, so I can put them in full T-45. Although, the first companion I get might be uh, Paladin Dance, which he already has power armor. He's actually in T-60 power armor, so it doesn't need it. But, um, yeah, so... There is that. Um, See, so yeah, we're going to go into Cambridge. We're going to hook up with the Minutemen. Um, there are actually like five or six perk magazines I need to get here in Cambridge. And those are really important because four of them are guns and bullets. And those will allow me to craft ammo that I desperately am going to need. So that's a huge thing. Got to get that done. By the way... Um, my Pip-Boy is... well, you can't see here. My Pip-Boy is actually fixed now. You guys should be happy about that. Big thanks to one of my viewers for showing me how to fix that. Whoa! Of course, there's lots of ghouls and stuff in here. Uh, Cambridge is gonna be probably a multi-episode thing to get through. It's gonna take a while. 
but that's okay. We got our trusty sword. I'm gonna be kind of looting through here as I go. Maybe I'll just clear stuff out and then I'll loot afterwards. Maybe yeah, that's how we'll do it. I'll, I'll kind of loot stuff off screen. So, I want to get some better firepower before I go over to Cambridge. And, uh... For that, we're going to be going over to Covenant and picking up the Justice Shotgun. That's right over here in Covenant. Uh, Penny, the vendor over there, sells the shotgun named Justice. It's, it's a unique one. Um, the unique property is not that great, it's just staggering, but the fact that it's a combat shotgun is pretty amazing. Now, I have about 120 rounds for a combat shotgun, which, for a combat shotgun, that's quite a bit, you know, because uh, it does so much damage, and it's so easy to hit the head with it. So it's going to be really helpful. Um, my plan is to get that, and uh, then I'll be uh, probably using that when I go over and assist the Minutemen over at ArcJet. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead. Well, there's one guy over here. Let me kill him. Now I'll get the safe, too. Or whatever this is. Yeah, we're good. Okay. As far as um, explosives go, what do we have here? I'll put the... It's going to be really ballsy to drop some mines over here, but it could be really good, too. There is a ton of loot in Cambridge. It is just... It's amazing for loot. Um, so I definitely want to clear this place out. Who now? Whoa. So yeah, one piece is already broken on the power armor. So, uh, there is a... I can't make the power armor workbench yet. At, uh, Grey Garden. But I can go and get... Holy shit. That was not my mine, that was somebody else's mine. Good lord. Hope those guys are okay over there. Alright. As I was trying to say... Okay, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop some mines at these entrances here. Just like that. Send them to me! Damn right, Calvin Dance. For the Brotherhood. Get him, dog meat. Get him. Man, we fucked them up. That's right, ghouls. You get owned. That's like the best I've ever done versus these ghouls. Just using some mines and... Wait there. Whoops. Using some mines and, uh, yeah, really, really good. I'm gonna loot these up real quick. I've been trying to say this for like the past five minutes. There is a power armor station in the police station here at Cambridge. Where are you going, Dance? Just give me a second, Dance. I'm just stealing all this stuff, you know? Now, uh, let me get out of the power armor try to get the speech check here. What's my charisma at? Put on my black rim glasses, so I've got better charisma here. What is, or what is my special at here? 11. Okay, I'll pass it, no problem. <clears throat> we appreciate the assistance, civilian. You are welcome, Good sir. I'm here for your power armor station. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Doesn't matter, man. Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Um... Yeah, money. That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. 
typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Hell yeah, let's do it. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. All right, guys, so we're going to loot everything in here. Um, I'm not going to go and help them right away. Because I need to get some better firepower before I go over there and do arc jet. Because those synths are going to be tough, man. It's going to be kind of scary going over there. And uh, I want I want to get some stuff established here, you know. I want to get those ammo magazines and stuff. I want to loot stuff. And we got to level up. Oh wow! Did we get a proc? We must have gotten a proc there. Eight hundred and fifty-eight experience. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna hop back in the power armor, gonna go inside, I'm gonna resupply myself, which, you know, means taking all of their stuff, basically. And uh, then we're gonna repair our power armor over in the uh, power armor workstation in here. Alright, so let's take all of the things. I'm gonna skip most of this, looting all this stuff. I don't have to repair my chest piece, in fact, it might be wise to not repair it because I don't think it's that damaged, actually. Definitely want to repair the power armor in general. Carrying too much is fine. We're going to hop out and repair, and then it'll be significantly less weight once we repaired stuff. That is, like, so much better. When you do this stuff, guys, remember, the excess goes into the, whatever uh, workshop you're working on, so make sure you take all that stuff. Now, I think that's everything over here. Uh, let me see, there are a couple perk magazines to the northwest on the map here. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay, so one is in uh, the actual police station here, but it's not available until after the Brotherhood actually, the reinforcements arrive, so we have to do the whole quest before we can get that. It's gonna be a while before we get that one. However, there is one available over at the Fraternal Post, where you were planning on giving your speech, actually, before all this stuff happened in the pre-war section. Uh, so we're gonna run over there and just go ahead and get that done. Go ahead and clear it out and um, get the guns and bullets because I really really need those to be able to make ammo. It's almost a little bit ridiculous that you need all of these rest these uh, magazines in order to craft all this stuff because yeah it's just so difficult without it. You can't craft the ammo, you just gotta go melee. I mean, I don't, I don't know how I would have gotten through this if I wasn't a melee character. I guess I would have to just run down here early on. Almost feels like... Oh man, I'm carrying too much already? <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, well, in that case, I'll go ahead and go back, I guess. I shouldn't have taken all this stuff with me. I got it all because I was thinking, like, I'll bring all this stuff over and sell it over at uh, Penny's place to get that justice shotgun I was talking about. Did I talk about that? Oh. What's that? You <laughs> Three of them right over there. Alright, that's fine. Some random patrols over here. Seriously, the ammo is what broke the... Okay, I'll drop the pipe wrench. That's fine. Really? Okay, if I pick up ammo here... I'm not even gonna get that pipe gun. Alright, I gotta run back over and deposit stuff. I will be... Holy sh... Crap, there's more.
Come on. I think he died from bleed there. I guess when I went in there I aggroed them and they all came out or something. Maybe they just spawn when you come out, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I need to go over back to Grey Garden and deposit my junk and I'll be back to clear this place out. Alright guys, we're back and uh, got rid of all the junk. Apparently I had put a whole bunch of my junk into my scrap storage system, I'm not sure why, or maybe that was from a cargo bot, I don't know. I did craft a couple of cargo bots, so we should be able to do some a lot of exploring out here and not have to head back to dump off junk. We should be able to just take everything and summon our cargo bot and drop everything off into there. In fact, what I may do is take all of my junk and periodically deposit it throughout the area. Like find a trash can or something that's empty and just put everything in it. And then uh, once I've gotten like all of Cambridge cleared, or like the west side of Cambridge cleared for example, then I'll go ahead and grab a cargo bot and uh, return everything on that cargo bot. Be a little more efficient that way. This dude totally sees me. He's not. How is he invisible? Are they using stealth boys? Is that it? Ironically, if they're using, uh... Just hurt somebody. If they're using a, a weapon, uh, a gun, it's actually easier to take them out with uh, the uh, sword here. So here is guns and bullets, number three, ballistic ammunition, one of ten, finally. Those are really, really, holy crap, this guy is... High level. Shit, this guy is actually really scary. Toss a grenade. Oh my god, he's still not dead. Crap. Shit, 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 I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a really, really bad spot. Okay, I need buff tats. I need, um... I already used a combat stim pack. I need, need psycho buff, psycho jet. I need everything I can possibly get here. Yes, that's all. Hopefully he comes through there and runs over that mine. <laughs> Shit! Whatever he's using, he's messing me up with it. A combat stim pack already done. Yes! Oh, thank god. Whoo, man, that guy was tough. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> it's an explosive double barrel shotgun. Oh, that's really, really funny. Too bad it's not a combat shotgun. Um, it's been nerfed severely, so explosive on it is no longer, like, insanely powerful. Also makes me a little bit sad. 
I don't think explosive is like the ideal uh, thing that you want on your weapons though in this, so... It's not a huge deal that it's not like, you know, ideal. Because I probably won't use it. Makes me feel good that I got explosive though. I didn't realize you could get explosive at such a low level. I guess you can though. God, now somebody's weed eating outside. I'm, I'm sorry guys, it's like, it's really noisy out there. I'm sure you're, you're hearing it on my microphone. I'll try to add out those sounds when I can, but there's not much I can do about it. These guys all have shovels. What do they have shovels for? Yeah, that was pretty intense, man. These guys were tough as hell. I think that's all of them. So I think uh, we, we need guns and bullets rank 2 to actually make shotgun shells. We can make 38 rounds now, which is cool, but um, that's not really what we need. These guys have a lot of good loot here. Wow, tons of good loot. It's really cool. Don't think I'll take the helmet. I think I'll pass on that. I right, so need to go upstairs as well, I know that. And uh, check out what's up there. So I think that's all the enemies. I think they all came down and fought me there. Need to use a bandage too, I'm still low. These guys are going to be pretty significantly higher level than me. Because, you know, leveling is so slow in this, and by the time you get to Cambridge, people should be like level 15 minimum, I think. Around there, so they're like literally double my level. Only level 8. Alright, I'm going to head back out here, and uh, where's the next place we're supposed to go? I'll have to check as soon as I'm out there and see where I'm supposed to go next. Not supposed to, but where I want to go next in order to get the... Uh, oh wait, did I go here? Yeah, I, I got stuff here. Where I want to go next to get the new issue of Guns and Bullets. Alright guys, so the next one is over that we can actually get right now. There's, there's one that's in the Tychondria safe house, which I don't think you can get until you've opened up the railroad quests. And there's one that's in the Institute, I think, so I can't get that one either. You know what, we're just gonna use the knife, or the weapon here, the, the sword! Why can I never remember the names of things? Oh, sorry, dog meat. We were totally in the way there. Blaming that one on you. Calm down, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's The Postman, starring Kevin Costner. I think Tom Petty was in that movie, too. I'm gonna go through here and just kind of clear out Cambridge as I go. And loot everything. And then, like, I'll just put all my junk into, like, one of, like a newsstand or a trash can or something that's, that's easy to find around here. Like, next to a building. And uh, then I'll come back for it all with the cargo bot once I've gotten, like, everything. I don't think there's actually anybody in here. But there is some good loot, so I'm gonna loot everything in here and uh, meet you outside once we're done. Alright, there's the Cambridge Diner looted. Um, here's a nice trash can we could maybe use, kind of right in the middle of Cambridge. What am I at here for inventory? Not that far from on inventory yet. Um, but I can go ahead and dump some stuff off in here. Alright, so I want to kind of try... I'm clearing out Cambridge. I want to kind of try to sweep it from left to right. So I'm going to kind of go up north here. I'm not going to... Oh god, I don't want to do Cambridge Palmer Labs yet. I don't know why, but I just hate Cambridge Palmer Labs. Because you got to think about stuff and things. It's... I don't know. I, mean, I usually just look up what to do on a wiki somewhere. Because I don't like trying to solve those kind of puzzles. I guess I don't really need glass anymore, like the bottles anymore, really, do I? There's a Meyer Lurk down here. Some eggs. Hello, Meyer Lurk. How are you today? I'm going to slice your face off. Sorry. Not sorry. And we've got lots of Meyer Lurk eggs. Yeah. Why they're going one by one here? Because I wasn't close enough before. Dog meat. Dog hey, meat. Head over there. Come out of there. Come out of here, boy. Did you kill them all? Already? No, no, not, not that one.
I'm pretty sure I just hit dog meat again. How am I not hitting him? There. Okay. I if you would have come out of here, dog meat, I could have just thrown a grenade or just a Molotov and killed them all with that. But no, you had to stay down here and just get eaten by all of them. Whatever, man. Sure funeral. Have to wonder, like all these boarded up places, if they like meant to do them initially, but then they just kind of ran out of time. You know, it would be amazing if you could actually enter into all these from the default game. You know, without any mods or anything. I mean, you can do it with mods, but I don't know if I want to clear out College Square or not. If you clear out College Square and then you get the Brotherhood quest to go clear out College Square to, to clear out the first area, does he still give you College Square as your first area to clear out? Does it like respawn it and you ha you get to go back in and do it all over again? Shit! Oh my god! Okay, any other mines? Any random mines laying around anywhere here? That was not cool. Frame rates are dropping a little bit in, in Cambridge here, but you know, there's a lot of texture, a lot of overlaying textures and stuff here. Here's all the ghouls we killed earlier. Where what are we fighting? Oh, ghoul. Good job, dog meat. This one's locked, huh? Didn't know it could be locked. Yes. <laughs> Well, this guy didn't make it. Despite the radiation protection. Anything on the bus? Anybody home? Yep, there's people home. See, even though I block still take damage. Maybe it's just in Frost that you don't take damage when you block. Sweet. Or maybe it's just um, your power armor. I don't know. I don't know. Make sure I remember. Cambridge Diner, it's the northeastern uh, corner of that is where that stuff is. Where all my stuff is at. It'd be interesting to bring... <laughs> Uh, Preston Garvey over here because he talked about getting overrun by ghouls in Cambridge. Move it, dog meat. So I wonder if you'd have any interesting like conversation stuff while you're clearing stuff out in here. They lost like I think he said they were 20 and then they were down to 8. Lost quite a few people here. So you go down, the down, down to the uh, bottom floor, and there's also a room I can get to uh, from up there as well that I want to check out. All this stuff is good, though. Ah, oh, shit. There was nothing for that, man. I just was going to take that. Thankfully, I have power armor on. Although, technically, I have less power armor on now. Did I get a full can? Holy crap. I want to see real quick. How much does that give me? 55 powder. Cool. I've got a ton of smokeless powder. Absolute ton of that stuff. I should be able to make, like, a ridiculous amount of, uh, of ammo, assuming I have the other stuff for it, once I've got more ranks of that guns and bullets. All right, well, before I go down there, I better go and repair my power armor... Again. <laughs> it's already gotten shredded again for a second time. See, I'm gonna run over to the Cambridge Police Station and do that. Let me grab these guys' loot before I do that, though. Okay, that is good. We got everything in there. So now, where else shall we go here? There's the church up here. Look at the map here. I'm gonna kind of swing north here, make sure I've gotten everything in the north, and then we'll go over and clear out the uh, church. There's actually a... Walking Dead character reference in there, which I thought was really, I really tickled me whenever I saw it because when I initially saw it, uh, Walking Dead was really popular. Well, it still is really popular, but I mean, 
it was really relevant. I had just like really gotten into Walking Dead and everything. So uh, seeing that was really cool. Okay, there's the... Yeah, so we'll go up along here. Get all of these guys' weapons. Ammo, etc. Yes, I did get a level up. I should consider where I'm going to put that. Let me actually look real quick. Where would I put this level up? Um... Oh, Master Locks? Hmm. That's pretty important. Yeah, I'm going to say probably Master Locks is what I want to do. Next up, we'll get a whole bunch of points. Alright, I can open up Master Locks. Excellent. Get to Cambridge and it's like, there's just, I mean, there are a lot of enemies here, but, uh, you know, you spend the majority of your time actually looting stuff. Again, I picked up that leather, I didn't need it. Don't need, don't need those leather pieces, I don't mean to pick them up, it just kind of happens by accident. But yeah, you uh, you spend so much of your time actually looting. More so than what you do fighting, for sure. Okay, so we have gone through kind of the western north side here, with the exception of Cambridge Polymer Labs. It's kind of going around the edge as well here. Just, you need absolutely everything you can get, so... Some wild mongrels over there. I once had two Death Claws spawn over here. That's pretty epic. These guys are just, they're lined up so perfectly. Okay, we'll use, we'll use some of these mines. Come on. Come on, buddies. Really? Just totally ignore it. Fine. Should just use the Molotov or a grenade or something. Mines are very... I don't know. What the hell is that? Heard a very odd noise there. Here's another uh, power armor station we can use if we need to. In Frost, this is what I would call like one of those non-settlement settlements, you know? Like there's a lot of cool stuff here you can use, but it's not actually a settlement. It doesn't count against the Wanderer perk for Frost. Different mod, different game, pretty much. Nice, sniper rifle. I don't know, do we... we do, we do have a sniper rifle. We do have one. Okay, there's a robot over here, and uh, my sword just happens to be really good against robots. I don't need to do this, but I kind of want to, because, you know, free stuff and experience, so. They're a robot. They don't feel anything. All right, the college admin building. I remember this place. It's kind of a pain in the butt to clear out because there's, like, little places you have to go outside like little balconies you have to go onto and you have to reload the game every time you have, to, you have to reload you have to have to load the outside every time you go outside which is annoying as hell lots of books in here we want to save those up like I get like I said you have to check around these safes really carefully because these uh, are around these desks really carefully because these safes are really easy to miss a lot of these items like um, these picture frames you can place those with OC Decorator, which is really cool. So that's why I'm picking all those up. It's not just for the wood, it's for decoration purposes later on. So I do plan on doing some uh, crap that goes outside. Dang it, I thought that was like the women's restroom. Actually, I think it is the women's restroom, but it just goes outside. Yeah, it is. No, it's the men's restroom, okay. But yeah, you see what I mean? This place is a pain in the butt because you keep going inside and then back outside and you have to reload every time and it's really stupid. I mean, it's not that terrible on PC, but on console, I can only imagine it would be a real pain in the butt. What got going on over here? That's up in Lexington. I'll bet you it's that little store on the edge of the town that's always got a fight going there for some reason. There's a uh, Massachusetts Scrabble on Sand. I want to go over there, too. Yeah, it's this place. Okay, that's fine. We'll go over here and check it out. Mr. Gutsy and a scavenger? 
All right, while well, he's distracted, that's going to be a tough fight over there. Don't move. Now he's shooting at me. Oh boy. Oh man. Not good. I do have the uh, General Challenge Revenge. Die. Are you gonna fight me too, Scavenger? Okay, if that's what you want, it's what you get. Where the hell is he? There he is. <laughs> what was that? I think I hit dog meat there. Sorry, dog meat. You're always in the way, though. It's not my fault, man. Always in the way. Those Mr. Gutsies, man, they should really uh, get better loot on them because they're really hard to kill. So we got over here. This is the uh, Massachusetts uh, Gravel and Sand. And there is a... Kind of jump up through here, but there's a duffel bag up here. Mole rats, that's right. There's mole rats here. Wish. Come on, that was totally in range. I swear. Where's he at? Oh, jeez. More bloat flies and. Hey man, it's all experience, you know? Whoa! Okay. We good? Sit? Alright. Little board up place here. This looks so cool. Love how they did that. Raider survivalist. Seriously, another one? More Moats. Here's a weapons workbench. Oh, <laughs> it's right there. Okay. So we've gone all the way up to the northern side here. I don't think there's anything between, like, here and Lexington, but I'm going to run up anyway just to make absolutely sure. All right, guys, I'm going to have to cut the video here. It's getting kind of long in the editing process, so I'm going to cut it here. We'll keep exploring through Cambridge in the next episode, and I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching.